I'm Grunwald and welcome to beautiful Ireland. Over the next couple of days we're going to show you some of the beautiful sights around this country. We're going to introduce you to our Irish Toast winners, Jamie and Ryan, and don't forget Pat Green and Jack Ingram are going to be here. So I hope you enjoy and check back every now and then because we'll have new videos at WYCD.com. Enjoy beautiful Ireland. We're here in Galway. Now, I got a question for you guys. You guys are from where? Yes, we are. Wales. 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 Now, South South Wales. South Wales. Why is it that a lot of the people from around Galway and Ireland make fun of you guys? Because of me. <laughs> 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 no, I want to know. <laughs> what do you say we go have a few pints? <laughs> Come on, right. Come on, right. Come on, right. As you can see, it pretty much rains here quite a bit in Ireland. Not one of the sunniest countries that you'd visit, but it's very, very beautiful. We're on our way right now to Kilmore Abbey to see this giant castle. It's a couple of hours away, and we have no idea where we're at right now. So come along on the journey. Finally made it to this beautiful castle, and it is called, Gloria... Kilmore Abbey. Kilmore Abbey. And tell me a little bit about the castle. The castle was built in the 1860s by the Mitchell Penry family, taken over by the Benedictine nuns in 1920 and has been in their hands since. So now there's about 15 to 20 nuns that live here full That's time? Right. That's right. And um, housed upstairs is our um, boarding school. Oh, maybe I could. Would they take me and accept me? Did it take any Oh, really? Now, I'd like to apologize to the nuns right now because as we were coming in here, I backed the rental car into a post which uh, caused a little bit of damage, and then I ran over one of their cones. Well, I wasn't going to say anything, but seeing as you said it, go ahead. <laughs> Where's the Irish whiskey? Do the nuns have any inside? Come on, we we'll <laughs> Now, Gloria, you tell me that when the nuns came over here, a lot of the traditional robes and the garments that they had, they buried to hide, is that it? Uh, they're valuables, they buried their valuables. Some of them stuff we have here now, because um, they had to leave their original home in Yeep, in the First World War because the enemy was coming into the, the town. So, as I said, they buried a lot of their stuff, evacuated the area, came to England, then originally came to Ireland. They, they managed to get their valuables, a lot of them back, so they could sell off most of them and buy the end. So now let me ask you a question. How many euros is it going to take to get me into that today? <laughs> I don't think you have enough on you. Really? <laughs> no, that's actually handmade by the nuns. This is all hand-stitched by the nuns. This is in Burberry? Well, Gloria, thank you for showing us your beautiful castle and the beautiful church behind us. Now, I'd like to make you an offer. I'll give you 20 grand for the whole works. Mm, I think so. I guess that means no in a nice way. <laughs> 99.5 W.